morning to you all. How are we today? I welcome you all to this great event. Today, the 12th day of April 2024. I want to make this little brief notice teaching and also advice to my officers of the merchant cell that relate to the boat accident that occurred on the 10th day of April that is two days ago I have a giving lectures to you all, I've been explaining to you all the essential part, the reason, the purpose of abiding by the safety cautions on sea. We have written to the federal government for empowerment we have seek for collaboration, voluntary services on how to offer a safety regulatory system there on sea. Last time the Sun newspaper interviewed us, it's already online, when they asked a question, Captain, if we are being opportune to be empowered by the federal government, how can you render your service on sea? First, I make them to understand that we cannot come on board to do the job of the Nigerian Navy. We are not there or we will not be there to do the job of the custom, the immigration, the civil defense, or the police. But we are just there to do the job like a task force or like an agency that are in, in, involved in regulating the safety apparatus on sea. I broke it down by telling them that in every jetties, especially in local jetties, that the merchant cell navy need to have a bit in all the jetties in Nigeria. I gave an I gave instances relating to many jetties. I mentioned Okrika, I mentioned Isaka, River State. I mentioned many jetties even in Lagos State. I mentioned many, a lot of them. There is no agency there that is involved in regulating these jetties or that are involved in regulating marine commercial passengers. We are supposed to have jetties, a bit in all the jetties, what will be our job there? Our job will be like when you when you move to a park, before you, before the car sell off, there is a task force or a union in that park that's supposed to give you a manifest. That manifest, you have to log in your name, your details, your next of in details your location, where you base your destination. In case of any accident, they can locate you through that manifest. Now coming back on work, if we should have a, a bit in that jet, we're supposed to have this manifest to take the report, the details of the commercial passengers. We we'll make sure that this boat is ready, is in good shape, ship shape, is in good order, in good form to sell. We we'll declare to other, ah, this boat, can you go? Or you need some services? If you are okay to go, if the, if the boat, the commercial boat is okay to sell, there's no problems. Then, we approve that. It doesn't mean that we are to restart the boat, negative. We only have to regret. Then, the commercial passengers will take in their details. As you are logging in, we will give you a life safety apparatus. It could be a life vest, it 
to be a light jacket, no matter who you are, your safety matters to us. Our number one objective is to protect lives and properties. When we issue this life safety apparatus to you, you go on board, and when you go on board, you sell off. We send your details down to the jetty, your anchorage point. We send it down to them. So as you're coming in, they will mark it that you are on board successfully, log in, log out, then they take off the life safety apparatus. And in all the jetties, we also have a diverse team. We're supposed to have divers position that jetty with a speed boat. We seek for this empowerment. If we have had these things, this softness, this apparatus, this safety items, such accidents couldn't be recorded in every year. Check in all the years, we always have this kind of experience. And it's just a negligent behavior. Even us, we need these things by ourselves. Don't wait to be told that you need it. Your life matters. Your life matters. Once you are dead, you are dead. I can come back to life again. Please, I urge each and every one of you to abide by the safety rules. And I also advise you all to be very, very careful in whatever you are doing. Apply caution in everything that you are doing. And to the family of the deceased, may God continue to console you. May God continue to console you.